Well, this is one of the nice things about traveling around and then stopping at places, even when you don't expect to. Um, you can see I'm moored just over there now, and this is, I found is crown green. And this bench was put up here just last summer, according to the plaque, uh, as a, um, uh, well, provided by this council. And this little site is a memorial for all of those who died in the COVID pandemic and for those who worked to, uh, to defeat it. So sitting from here, I can see in front of me, there's a, a semicircle of six new cherry trees and a little plaque basically saying what I've just said. So, and it's a very nice spot on a day like today. Right next to the Covid Memorial, there's something else which I'd never heard of before, and that's this peace pole. And it's a white pole, as you can see, with the words, May Peace Prevail Upon Earth, in eight different languages. And it was provided by the local Society of Friends, Quakers as they're better known. And it's part of a worldwide movement. So it started in Japan in the 1970s with one man uh, taken over by his daughter when he died. And they, they now have a headquarters in the US and there are something like a quarter of a million of these, these poles around the world in something like 180 different countries and places like the North Pole. So that makes Crown Green here quite a nice little spot for contemplation. It's also very popular with moles, I know. <laughs> There's an awful lot of mole hills around here. come through Yard Lock, which has a, a memorial, uh, a figure carved in wood just under the bridge. It refers to uh, an event in 1839 when uh, a boat was coming down from Preston Brook, which is the very top end of the Shropshire, at the Trenton Mersey, where I'll be in a few days, um, down to London and they, the boat was carrying a paying passenger, which they sometimes did. And it was a lady called Christina Collins. And the story has been told on a number of times. I think it was done as a radio play on BBC as well. That um, the, there were three men on the crew of the boat. I think they were working as a fly boat, so they were traveling at night as well and she at stone at the toll office. She reported to the toll officer that she was afraid for her safety because the men were getting constantly drunk as they were going along and she didn't like the way things were shaping up. She got some rather unhelpful advice which was to report it to the office in London when they got there um, and they carried on 
down here to Rougely and the following day her body was found in the water. And there was a trial which got huge publicity and two of the boatmen were hanged and the third one was transported to Australia. So it's, um, yes, so the figure there is quite poignant. Yes, the only story I know that's really caught the imagination like this. Not so many uh, stories of evil deeds like this in the canals.